Hi, my name is Keverly Strand, and today I'm going to walk you through a demo of how to get started using our Einstein Deep Learning APIs in order to create AI-powered apps. And with that, let's get started. The first step you'll want to do is use your existing Salesforce or Heroku account to sign up for an Einstein Platform Services key to generate an OAuth token. You can do this at Einstein.ai. The next step is to create a data set then train that data set in order to create a custom model. Now I'm not gonna walk through those steps today just because we don't have a lot of time. However, you can find all that documentation right on Einstein.ai under the documentation links. Um, and today we're really gonna focus on the image custom classifier just so you guys know if you're looking at that one specifically. You can also use the Einstein Vision and Language Model Builder available free on the App Exchange to check the accuracy of your models before deploying them or refining them once they've been deployed. The Einstein Vision and Language Model Builder is a very easy visual tool to use to begin to build models. So in this instance, you can see you can upload a specific URL with your data set, or you can actually upload a file, and usually a zip file if you're working with images. Um, once you have those, you can actually review all your image um, data sets that you've created. So for instance, maybe we have a car, um, Vision 1, it shows you the models that have um, been created from that data set, and it also shows you the different labels that you have and how many examples of each of those labels you have. So once you have your model ID, you can jump into your Salesforce org to complete the rest of the steps, which is where we're going to focus most of our time today. So let's start with what the end user's experience looks like. So imagine we just got in a fender bender and we're at our insurance um, agent's website. And so we just want to file an insurance claim. We would use this chatbot, which automatically identifies as a chatbot for ethical reasons, to interact um, with our insurance agent. So it's asking us to in, um, upload an image of the damage. What's happening behind the scenes is Einstein is analyzing that image to determine is it damaged, is it not damaged. And it's coming back that it is damaged, and it's pretty sure it's da damaged with a 98% accuracy. So this really helps the customer understand, yes, we see that it's damaged. It is being, um, we are taking care of it. We're gonna file that claim. And is there anything else that we can help with in the moment? And the agent will kind of file the claim for them and follow up with them if they have any questions. So let's go ahead and dive into how we created this bot really simply. Now you'll notice that I switched over to my code editor, and here we're creating a custom lightning web component called Vision Component, and it has your normal files here, CSS, HTML, and JavaScript. Um, the really cool thing here is that we're using this JavaScript file to invoke an Apex method, and in this Apex method you see right here. And then we also notice down below that we have a return. Um, in this instance, we're making a promise of sorts of saying, you know, if we're calling this method, we want this to be returned to us, um, which populates in that UI chatbot that we just saw. So let's take a look at the ape, that specific Apex method, um, which is this called DE Einstein Vision Control. And the really cool short um, code that we need to use is right here. And basically what we're saying is we're calling the image classification service right here. Um, in this line, and next we're requesting an image classification by passing that model ID that we were talking about earlier, and then the Einstein will return the predicted label depending on what that prediction was. All right, you'll notice that we jumped back into Salesforce and we went to settings and chose our Einstein bots and just made sure that this was turned on, this feature was turned on. The next step is to go to embedded service deployments. Normally you would start a new one, but in this case, in the interest of time, we're gonna look at one of our pre-existing ones to see what that looks like. The first thing you need to make sure is that this chat settings is turned on. The next thing is once you hit edit, it might take a second, but we need to make sure this says active. And then if you scroll down below, this is where we choose our custom components. And you would do that just under the edit here. But in the interest of time, again, this is that custom um, vision component we just created um, that we would put on here. So once all that is set up, then you would go back to bots. You would either use an existing bot that you already have um, enabled, or you could create a new one using those um, different steps. 
In the interest of time, again, we're going to look at our current one, which is this vision bot. Let's go ahead and look at this. Now, if you've ever worked with bots, just know, um, or if you haven't, I suppose, um, just know you cannot edit an active bot. It says this pretty plainly up here. If you need to, just deactivate it and reactivate it. Um, so the custom component of the bot comes into view here, where we have Einstein vision, the case, then we show the record ID, and then we show the model ID. Remember when I mentioned the model ID earlier, that's where that comes in. Um, and now that you've done all this, you can go ahead and activate it if it isn't already, and you have a fully functional, customized, AI-powered bot with Einstein vision functionality. You can definitely check out Einstein-Hub if you'd like to learn more, or Einstein.ai to check out all the documentation on these great APIs.